my whole life in music and my real life has been a journey. I feel like everybody's life has been good and bad. And although my music screams energy and great mood and, you know, confidence, I wanted this to be called Nightmare Vacation because I wanted to acknowledge just as much good shit with just as much bad shit. I mean, that's why it's called Nightmare Vacation because although like I'm battling my own shit, I'm making it look fun, you know? And I feel like also that's what all of us should do. Honestly, I'm very happy to have it out finally. I feel like this is something I've held on to for a very long time. And yes, it's out. Let's go. Hey, I'm TV News. It's Rico Nasty. And I'm here to tell you guys my top five music videos from my own catalog. First music video of mine is Poppin'. I woke up at like six o'clock in the morning. I directed it. I, I pretty much just told my cameraman and my boyfriend, get up. We're going to the Hollywood sign. Um, we're going to shoot. And I had made the songs the night before. So I didn't even go to sleep from this video. And I shot it. We edited the video. I sat there with them and it came out the very next day. My second favorite video is Smack a I almost got kicked out of the hotel shooting it. And I was just like, bro, I just want to like make a video of me like locking up my evil twin. We were like in the hallway and shit, And we found this little window and we were using it for vlog footage, right? And I'm like, no, we should perform right there and do like on the wall. So we shot out there. The people are like, you can't shoot me. So we're like, where can we shoot? So we go to the stairwell because we're just trying to explore the hotel and places where people won't go. We go to the stairwell, fire. There's like stamps all on the wall and all this crazy shit. And originally it's white. The stairwell is white. So I went in my room and I got a pink like bra, like a bralette, like a lace bra. And we put it over the light and we made it pink. And then I had my boyfriend like flash it and shit. It made it look like it was rainbow light. They did wind us, wind up coming to our room and telling us whatever footage we used, we couldn't use it. And uh, we fake had to delete footage off our like phones. And yeah, so. Boom, smack <laughs> My favorite video, number three, is Roof. Lord have mercy. Roof was shot in the desert. First of all, it was shot in the desert and then it was shot like in this one bedroom that was done up like hella fire. Um, shout out to Kobe Doby, he's amazing. We met this man through email and we were like, bet he gonna shoot the video. Cool, he had this awesome treatment. He had like work to show for it. So we're leaving from Kenny's studio once again, three o'clock in the morning, sleepy as shit. And I'm like about to just go to sleep in the car with them, you know? Cause I'm thinking it's just gonna be the director, me and my boyfriend. Cause we had to ride in a truck with all the props and shit. I get in this van, it's like five people and it's a ladder. And I go to sleep. So I wake up, we eat and I realize we're in the desert. And I'm like, looking at my boyfriend, looking at my makeup artist, like, where we at? Like, these got a ladder. What ditches they digging? I'm trying to text and there's no service, bro. So like, I'm sitting next to my makeup artist and I'm like tapping him with my leg and I'm like, bro, where are we? I was getting so much anxiety. It was like the worst ride ever. We get there and obviously we needed a ladder so that the extra could stand up on this rock for the intro scene, but whatever. I was like, these are gonna kill us and bury us in the desert. Fast forward, we had to drive to another scene and it was below sea level and it was so hot. We walk out there, we're setting everything up and the director, he's like, bro, oh my God. And he just pauses and he stares at me. And I'm like, what, what is it? Like, is it a lizard on me? What's going on? He says, your wig is green and we're using green screen. You can look at the roof video for reference. I'm not lying, this really happened. It's so hot. This wig is on my head. I am like, well, I didn't bring another one. I should have brought another one. I should just take this off. 
I got my outfit from this uh, costume store in LA for like $150. The stones were burning me. We hot as out there. Any water bottle we bring back from the car gets hot instantly. It was a mess, but we got it done. And that was by far one of my favorite music videos to shoot ever. Number four. I'm gonna have to say, oh, for real. And I just love that music video because it's all Nightmare Vacation. It's new, it's fresh. People kept telling me to bring the spikes back. I did. The music video for it is very just brash and aggressive and in your face. And I love that type of shit. It was shot in one place. So it wasn't like hectic going to different locations or nothing like that. I did my own makeup. I styled myself. And I like when I do shit like that sometimes. Cause it can be real fun, like building the shit from the ground up stylistically. But yeah, I love that video. My fifth and final favorite music video is iCarly. We all start somewhere. And if you look at that music video, I kind of look a lot, well, I don't kind of, I look a lot different. I feel like people who know me in real life can tell by that video, I was very nervous and like, you know, new, very new. And I just remember getting that whole shit together, planning the video shoot once again, my outfits, doing my hair that morning, being nervous that somebody would cancel and we wouldn't be able to do this X, Y, Z. But that was like a really fun time in my life because I had no idea that I would be this blessed and um, have so many fans and be able to do so many things. I don't cringe at that video. Like I don't, I don't ever look at my old videos and like get ashamed or anything. It just really inspires me. Like I was thinking some crazy shit when I was dirt poor. Like I was thinking some out of the box shit and it just inspires me to go super hard and to never forget like where this started. It started in the basement. It started asking friends, can you shoot at their house? Borrowing my friends clothes, hitting girls up on Twitter to be in my videos, making sure all the girls are like being hosted and like, you know what I'm saying? Getting food, getting drinks, are you being well taken care of? Making sure that we all come with the same outfit, the same vibe, like all of that shit. I was like, how the did I have time for that? But it was amazing. I feel like my visuals compliment me as an artist because that's my chance to show people the world that I'm mapping about. That's my chance to bring people into my, what's supposed to be everyday life or, you know, whatever theme the music video is. Um, and I also feel like it's a time to bring the song to life as well. Like music videos are a time to add action to the words that you're saying. Like even the Own It video, you know, I asked, out of my mouth, I asked for drastic, over the top, crazy when talking to wardrobe. And when I got to fitting, that's what I got. And a lot of the stuff was uncomfortable. A lot of the stuff I couldn't walk in. A lot of the stuff I couldn't breathe in the spike mask, you know, but I feel like that's all a part of a nightmare vacation. When you got the video, it looked amazing. But let me tell you, they were wheeling me on and off set. And not to mention just that, but obviously coronavirus, I don't want to give her too much clout because and she needs to go away. But obviously that up a lot of stuff, a lot of stop and go traffic. Like right when you think you're done, you're not done. You gotta start over or, you know, getting a lot of jitters because iPhone was a song my fans were very excited for. And I wound up having to shoot that in my basement, do a lot of CGI. And that was, you know, stressful because I'm like, like I wanted to give a real video. I wanted to give actors and a storyline. And even though the video gives that, um, Nightmare Vacation, there's a lot of ups and downs and trial and errors.